Hi, today we'll be talking about limits and continuity. The evaluation of the limit of algebraic functions resembles the finding of values of the function by mere substitution. And now let's look at some examples. Okay, in this limits and continuity, the first example here is find limit x approaches to brackets 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So all you have to do is that these two here, you have to substitute it with the x that is in the brackets, which means px equal to 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So we need to plug in these two, and which makes it to be p2, p bracket 2 equal to 3 bracket 2 square plus 2 bracket 2 minus 5. So our answer is p2 equal to 12. That is 3 times 2 raised to power 2 is 12 plus 4 minus 5, which will give us 11. So the answer to this um, question is 11. So the next question says, determine the continuity of the function fx equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3 at the point x equal to 2. So this x equal to 2 here means that x is 2. All we have to do now is to do a mere substitution. And that is fixing this 2 um, in place of this x in the question or in this algebra. So now, limit x approaches to fx equal to 2. So we plug in this uh, 2 here, 2 uh, square minus 2 bracket 2 minus 3. So the answer is lime x approaches to fx equal to 4 minus 4. That is 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 minus 2 times this 2 here is 4 minus 3. So our answer is minus 3. Now the next example says... Discuss the continuity of the function. Discuss the continuity of the function. fx equal to x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 at the point x equal to 2. So if you look at this, you know that if you plug in these two in those x, that is 2 squared minus 4 over 2 minus 2, your answer will be 0. So we, we don't want to do that. What you have to do is to, to, is to factor, and that is um, expand x squared minus 4. So to expand it, what you have to do is lime x approaches to fx equal to lime x approaches to x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 equal to. To expand it now, we have lime x approaches to and that is bracket x plus 2, bracket close, and bracket x minus 2, bracket close over x minus 2. So that is the expansion for x squared minus 4. So what you have to do here is now to cancel x minus 2. You cancel x minus 2 at the numerator and x minus 2 at the denominator. So you have now get the answer as equal to limit x approaches to bracket x plus 2. So the x there, you have to plug in these two. So that's make it limit x approaches to bracket 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. So the answer to this question is 4. Now, the next question is evaluate the following. Limit x approaches 0. Bracket x squared minus 3x plus 1 over 3x plus 2x minus 8. And what you have to do here is to plug in this 0. In those x we now have 0 square that is bracket 0 square minus 3 bracket 0 plus 1 over 3 bracket 0 plus 2 bracket 0 minus 8 and if you look at this 0 square 0 square will give us 0 minus 3 times 0 that is 0 and the other the one at the denominator is 3 times 0 is also 0 plus 2 times 0 is 0 so this one here is they are all zeros so our answer is now plus 1 over minus 8. That is 1 over minus 8. So the answer here is minus 1 over 8. 
that's the answer to this question. Now, another example says, determine the constant k, which is such that the function fx defines as fx equal to kx square, that is constant x square, x in between 3, and, and 5x square minus 3, and that's x is less than 3. So, what we have to do here is that make the kx square to be equal to 5x square minus 3. And that kx square equal to 5x square minus 3. And what we have to do here is to substitute 3. So we have k brackets 3 square equal to 5 brackets 3 square minus 3. So 3 square here is 9. So we have k bracket 9 equal to 45. That is 3 raised to power 2. That is 3 square is 9. 5 times 9 is 45 minus 3. Then we subtract 45 and 3. It give us 42. Then that is 9k equal to 42. So we now find the coefficient of k. That is 9k over 9 equal to 42 over 9. On dividing it, you have your answer as k equal to 4.67. So the constant k is 4.67. That's the answer.